right after I moved up to Spokane, my roommates, one was out of the house doing something and the other was playing Dungeons and Dragons. Myself and her boyfriend, now husband, were not invited to play. So he barges into the apartment and goes, get your shoes on, we're going drinking. Great. We go to this dive bar in Spokane. I don't think it exists anymore. I can't remember what it's called. And this guy, he actually is not drinking. He just wanted to get me drinks. I think he had a few, but he like kept giving me drink after drink after drink after drink. Um, and at that point, I black out. We end up at a house and my roommate's ex-boyfriend was there. They're now married, so weird how that works out. Anyway, he's there and they had just broken up. And I'm like, Eric, I like you a lot, man. I hope you and Emily can work it out. You're really cool. I hope we could still be friends. And I remember him just looking at me like, yeah, okay. Not really responding to me. I later discover that it mostly comes out as, Eric, I, I like you a lot. You're, you're cool. <laughs> uh, mostly an incoherent mess. Um, I then need to go throw up, of course. And this house belonged to three men in their early 20s. So you can imagine how cleanly, uh, how clean their bathroom was. I proceed to throw up in the toilet and fall asleep on their nasty ass floor. This is Drunch. Biscuits. It is another episode of Drunch, where women get boozy at brunch. It is the podcast by women, for women, about women. If you want to know more about women, if you just want to be in a room where there are no men, this is for you. Today's guest Wait, is... What are our names? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. What are our names? I'm Alicia. I'm Laura. Okay. And today's guest is the former host of Praxis that was on KRS Radio, also the co-founder of Keep Spokane Kind of Gross, and general woman about town. <laughs> hey, Luke! Woo, 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 wee! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Welcome, welcome. I want an air horn introduction anytime Everywhere. I'm anywhere. <laughs> yeah, anytime now, you enter a room. Like, oh, yeah. Even when you're home. That's yeah. You yeah. go into the yeah. bathroom. Yeah. I'm going to get and that's out it. of my house. She's going to be like, please fucking leave. <laughs> you're the worst. Get out. get out. You should just, yeah, yeah, rig it so when you open the doorknob. <laughs> Put it on my keys or something. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever doesn't want that kind of entrance, you don't need them in your life. Well, except maybe your sister. Exactly. I can't speak yeah. for that, but. Yeah. I do like your sister. She's good. Yeah. I like her too, if never met her, but yeah. she's probably dope. She's yeah, good. she's good. Yeah. From what I've gathered about you so far, so. 
No, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm the first, and then she learned from my <laughs> fuck-ups and became, like, the next version, you know? Yeah. That's She's true. her own person, I should clarify. That yeah. was one of the three things I wasn't going to talk about. <laughs> it's, like, anything that would make her upset. Oh, yeah. Well, let's move One's on down. Then. Let's yeah. do the two other things <laughs> yeah. we talk about. We know what it is, so if you start <laughs> yeah. talking about it, we'll stop yeah. you. Yeah. And we can always edit it out, too. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for the delicious brunch. Yes. You're welcome. The grapefruit mimosas. Yes. The, they were the cinnamon rolls and the scramble were really good choices. Mm-hmm. Yes. And gra- I can't remember the last time I drank grapefruit juice, so. It's the best mimosa, except for I found out recently I always drink grapefruit juice and... Something. Whatever, either champagne or tequila, because that's mm. the only alcohol I can drink. But grapefruit juice is a blood thinner, so it's like getting you more oh, drunk. More so wasted. I just thought I would let you know now after you've already had a bunch of it. Good to know. Yeah, like you're not supposed to have grapefruit juice on certain medication. That's right. Oh yeah, yeah. It... yeah. It's interesting. Like, right. yeah. Anyway. Takes a lot for me to uh, get, get buzz, so yeah. we're I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I say that, and I'm going to stand up and fall over. <laughs> so drunk. Except for it's so a blood like thinner. Uh, Curses. Yeah, I guess. Don't drink grapefruit juice if you're about to get a tattoo. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's not good. Unless you want to That's... Like, live on the edge. <laughs> yeah. Daddy, it's so extreme. Extreme. Extreme, extreme tattooing. tattooing. <laughs> Hell yeah. Jenks. Hell yeah. You owe me a soda. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Take a syrup. Syrup. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming on. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm excited. Um, what should I we talk about first? Oh yeah. God. Uh, yeah. Why don't you? Oh God. Tell us a little bit about yourself because you have been pretty involved in the community. Like what? Since you were a baby bean, a wee, a wee bean, <laughs> a wee bean, no. wee bean. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can do a condensed thing. Um, I'm from Spokane, so if you have questions about Spokane, I will answer them. Why is Spokane? <laughs> Why? We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows yet. Um, but it is. It really is. <laughs> it continues to be so. <laughs> And, yeah. That's a great answer. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. I told you. I told you it was an expert. No. Yeah, no, I've been doing various things for a long time. I just, the thing you introduced me for, um, Praxis, I did a show about, like, social justice and activism and Praxis, you know, the, like, what are people doing in the world? And I did it for seven years, and I just quit at the beginning of this month, which is December. And I don't know when you're broadcasting, so... Next month! Um, yeah, so I'm really... I'm really fucking excited to come swear on your podcast <laughs> yes. on the radio. And uh, seven years and I never had to use the dump button. That's impressive. Good job. Yeah, I told all my guests. And it's amazing because just when I normally talk, I'm just like yeah. fucking trash. Fuck people shit, would meet me shit. in person because my show was kind of serious. and It was about politics. I would interview fancy people about fancy things and talk about social justice theory. And then a lot of times like people would meet me in public and they'd be like, oh, Oh, I like that. Wow. That's too Pop a champagne. That really, really scared good at me. It. You're Sorry. really good at it. I get too scared. I love champagne, but then I'm like, someone else. Huh? Well, yeah. except for the last time I fucking broke the cork. Um, mm. Yeah. That's probably the Sorry, I guess how to save us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, all that to say, I think, but I think that's kind of insulting because it means people are like, oh, you look dumb. I don't know. Or, like, you talk different than you talk on the radio, which is true. Yeah. Because I'm totally. not, like, it's a fucking character. Yeah. Know? Or, yeah. It's, it's just, just my fancy self. Personality. Yeah. yeah. So that's the main thing. I don't know. Um, my friend Erica, who I used to have a podcast with also, and I made Keep Spokane kind of gross, mm-hmm. which, like, no one knows that that's us. Really? Some people do. People who know us, but then people will talk to me about it and be like, "Oh, I saw this funny thing," and I'm just like, oh, <laughs> "That's me." Oh, that yeah. Did yeah. Erica host a couple of podcast classes at Yeah Spark? At Spark, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was her. I, I did one with her, yeah. but I think you probably came in after I had left there. So. We yeah, probably. we did the first one. Yeah, the first podcast. Did oh wait, it? no, I was totally there. Maybe nice we did it. Then. Maybe that wasn't the first but one. You, I, I don't, don't think know you were, you were there. there. Yeah, I yeah. remember yeah. you. 
Who knows? But yeah, she's... Who knows? She's a magical creature. Yeah. She's an artist. She was yeah. dope. Yeah. Yeah, she's She remains great. dope. Yeah. Hi, Erica. Um, I hope you listened to this. We took your class so now. We yeah. have a podcast. Yeah. So I don't know. That's been fun. I'm working on... Um, I'm planning to leave, move away permanently from Spokane for school if they'll take me somewhere. So I'm working on... I want to write kind of my, like, Spokane... Manifesto, manifesto or something yeah. it, not a manifesto like that's the only thing I don't like write a, but I want to be like here's how we keep Spokane kind of goes here's my parting thoughts oh okay don't fuck it up mm-hmm. you know I know that's kind of extra but I just feel like it's the only thing I'm an expert on is this weird place because I've lived here my whole life so yeah uh where are you wanting to go to school like I said wherever they'll take me <laughs> I'm doing my AA in audio engineering right now. Awesome. Um, over at the falls, like, Hop, very near. Slap, bit of jump we away from there. We can see it. We yep. can practically see it. Um, so I'm just applying all over the place to places that do, like, sound art mm-hmm. stuff or engineering. Stuff. What are some of the bigger schools that have, like, a really good audio program? Um, SCAD in Georgia. Oh, okay. Which is one I'm looking at. University of Michigan, which is like kind of a stretch, but I already You did it. I will see yeah. if they want me. Yeah, so I don't know, we'll see. Cool. Just being an old lady going back to school. <laughs> That's very hard. Pretty that cool. is hard, yeah. hmm I'm trying to decide if I should pull a never been kissed and just lie. <laughs> you know? You like I absolutely I should. I moisturize. For no I reason. Just be like, I'm twenty. Like what? Yeah, alcohol. You have like you can have a totally different life. Do you like you could be it? anyone. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Because there's no reason for you to do it, so I think you should do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. uh, yeah, and then you can like take shots of tequila. These college kids were like, "Whoa, she's Whoa. a fucking champ!" Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Impress Why them you with your think? skills. What is the plot of Never Been Kissed? She's uh, a journalist. And she's a fucking virgin. <laughs> and she goes back to... <laughs> no comment. She goes back to high school, right? To do this, like, undercover story. Yeah. And she- I've never school? seen it. I don't know what... I the, used to I love this movie. This but I haven't watched <laughs> it since, like, remember. middle school. So here's what I remember. This is, like, when um, Dylan made me say the plot of Twilight ha- after having yes. never seen it. <laughs> and I was pretty close. Okay, never been kissed. It's this nerdy journalist who has never been kissed, and she wants to do this undercover story at a high school. I can't remember why she wants to do an undercover story. I think partly, like, to get what high school kids are like now. John C. Riley's her boss. Um, she goes to this high school, and uh, and a teacher falls in love with her. So it's wow. really weird. Spicy. Okay. Very spicy. He falls in love with what he thinks is one of his students, mm. and then he finds out she's not. Classic. And then he's like, okay, we can be together. And then they kiss mm. on a baseball field. Baseball? Not yeah, baseball. that's pretty pretty accurate. Are you, like, double-checking? On oh, yeah. TV? Totally. Okay. Uh, she, like, gets popular because she has a pot brownie, I think, and so she, everyone's like, yeah, Josie. Josie's dope. Oh, in high school, her nickname was Josie Grossy. That's where that's from. <gasps> I'm Josie oh Grossy. Okay, it's all coming back to me now. Yep. I think I need to rewatch it's all it. Back and at some point she goes, I'm not Josie Grossy anymore. Yeah. She's Josie. Toasty. Not, not Toasty? Grossy. She's Josie Toasty after yeah. having a few drinks. Oh. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well. So, yeah. Wish you, me luck, I guess. Yeah. I'll send updates from the field. So you can <laughs> have can write a, an expose on Gen Z. Like, <laughs> is that what's going to happen? Yeah. And then a professor will fall in love with you. And when he Hot. finds yeah. out that you actually are a student, but you're not underage, you can yeah. hook up and they can give you And ways. that you have, like, sexual experience. And he's yeah. like, Whoa. I want it to be a lady professor. I just want to clarify. Oh, I don't yeah. want an old crusty man. No, yeah. Oh, you totally want yeah. a lady professor. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, honestly, let's be real. <laughs> Those, <laughs> let's be real. One of the movies but. I watched with Rachel was a, per- a lady professor falling in love with one of her female students, and the female student broke her heart. What movie was it? I can't remember. Oh, we watched it because gay. Great, so yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Cool. Yeah. yeah. We're like, well, this looks gay. Let's watch it. Yeah. <laughs> That's so gay. Yeah. <laughs> you just have to, even if it's bad, mm-hmm. just for the sake of um, solidarity. Yeah. 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 And I'm guessing neither of them died, so that's a plus. Neither of them died. Mm-hmm. Good. It's good. Rare. Yeah. <laughs> this other movie we watched, I can't remember, but one of the lesbians was always wearing her strap on, so she was always packing, always. She was ready to go whenever. In daily life. Yes. Hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. And... That's not uncomfortable? You'll have to ask her. I don't know. <laughs> All right. And... I, the only part I remember about that movie, aside from constant strap on wearing, is um, they're showing like a montage of them falling in love and like the conversations they have. And all I remember is the non strap on one saying, How many seconds can you hold your breath for? And I remember going, Who fucking cares? <laughs> Why is that an important question? Wait, was that like a sex thing? It's a yeah. I was gonna say I like there's asphyxiation. Well, no, they were like at like they were just like talking. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, and yeah, Gotta I go. Who cares? Research. And Rachel yeah. goes, "Well, according to my wildlife training, <laughs> Jesus, oh, God. Rachel, you're great." <laughs> I hold my breath sometimes. Put that in my back pocket to ask someone in a. When you're Seduction spooning in this scenario. Yeah. How many yes. seconds can you hold your breath for? Breath. And I literally <laughs> went, who cares? <laughs> well, let's go to Pound Town. <laughs> Pound Town. Here's the shop. Hold your breath for as long as you can. Hell yeah. Ready to go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, yeah. Here's my strap on. Yeah. Yep. What were we talking about? Uh, <laughs> Professor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A gay yeah. never been kissed. Yes. Yeah. 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 I love it. That's how I'm going to have my big breakthrough. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Screenwriter yeah. slash star yeah. slash director. And then we'll be like, we knew her back then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and you can be like, this is all thanks to Drunch. <laughs> I will. I will. Oh, Drunch. I was going to tell you. I held this back earlier. I was getting coffee earlier on my way here. And I was talking to my friend who works at the coffee shop. And his coworker was there. And his coworker was like, what are you doing today? I was like, oh, I'm going to go on my friend's podcast and just like get drunk and go on this podcast. They make you brunch. And he goes, oh, brunk. And I was like, (laughs) like, no, you're so close. It's drunk. Brunk, I have an idea. Brunk, oh my God. He's like, I'm going to look that up. So I think brunk should be like, maybe brunk is the like dude equivalent. And like, (laughs) chat and chat. That's, yeah. yeah. Okay, I have ideas. We have to discuss that after this. I am. I'm I'm actually going to let you know you have a brother podcast called Brunk. Brunk. Oh, that'd be the best crossover. Mm. They have to be cool bros, though. They have to be chill. This guy seemed... I, I met him for, like, 12 seconds at a coffee shop. How, I have some decent... I have, like... How were his vibes? Midland, you know? Midland like, vibes? I can't, I can't vouch. Okay. But, um... I have a couple... I have a couple good bros in my life. I'm, like... 12. I like wholesome bros. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, like, 12% bro, so I, I know how to find them. <laughs> yeah. It's like bros without the toxic masculinity. Mm-hmm. I wonder yeah. how... Okay, so would you spell it B-R-U-N-K or would it be B-R-U-N-C-H with the C-H being more of a K sound? I would do it with a K. Mm-hmm. You'd have to put like a fancy shit on the oh, U to yeah. clarify that. I don't know what that That sounds is. too complicated. I yeah. like the K. Bro. Yeah. Bronk. Sick. Some sick bronze. Sick. Sick yeah. 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 Oh, that's that's great. Sick bronze. So fucking sick. funny. That's where your 12% bro comes out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. I Shut say like, up, nice bro. and dope all the time. Yeah. yeah. No. Mostly when I see like 69 or 420 or 666. Oh, yeah. Because so, nice. I'm a nice. mature 32 year old yeah. woman. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's the currency of our generation. It is. <laughs> We're like never going to have actual money. So just like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy wherever you can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just wait that was very fuckboy of you, so. <laughs> what, so. my tongue thing yeah. I did? Yeah, you can't see it, but I'm going. <laughs> sticking my tongue just out. Sticking no, it out for a, a quick second. Way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. You're going to do really well in college. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited. Yeah. I am currently. It's like, I was really nervous about this because it's a bunch of, I was like, it's going to be a bunch of 19 year old boys and me. And it's not completely that, but. It's not that far off. There's like four women left out of like 35 people, Whoa. which is the most there's ever been, I think. Whoa. There were like six or seven of us when we started. 
And yeah, it's interesting. And but, you go through the whole program together. Mm-hmm. Right? It's like a cohort for two years. So. Yeah, kind of like a battle royale. Yeah. They're wholesome, though. I actually really love them. I like the Gen They're probably Z. like nerdy tech people. Yeah. Some of them, but some of them are like music bros, which I have bad, like, I don't know, history around and bad feeling story, but mm-hmm. they're very wholesome overall. And it's really nice. That's so. nice. Hi, you guys. Hi. Hi. <laughs> You sound dope. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it up. Yeah. Don't fuck it up. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I took a couple of quarters at the falls when I got my AA. And for the most part, I didn't talk to anyone because I just felt very weird being this 30-year-old amongst kids that just got out of high school, you know, like... Youths. The youths! Mm-hmm. Um, I think in art class was the most, like, interaction I had with teenagers or like the students but the teacher used to be in a local band (laughs) and I was the only one old enough to be able to go to his show and then we both came to class the next day like we're so tired (laughs) but yeah these kids are so young and one class we were having a weird discussion about milk (laughs) and (laughs) how in Canada, you know, there's bags of milk instead of cartons. And so we were just talking about that and how it, some people back in school had the bags of milk, too. And we're just like, that's fucking weird. And then this one girl, she, I think we're talking about brands of milk, too, because that's also a regional thing. And she was just like, dairy goals my shit. <laughs> <laughs> and me and the art teachers looked at each other like, this is what we can talk about right now. Like, <laughs> This is what they're repping, yeah, you know, like. Yeah. <laughs> Stary gold's yeah. my shit. Stary gold's my, my shit. shit. Yeah. Yeah. I had a moment like that with one of my professors last quarter because we were talking about, it was like a business of music class, which was painful. No offense, Dave. Um, <laughs> yeah, Dave. I learned a lot about copyright law, if you're curious about um, that. But, um, but we were talking about, like, history of music distribution and how nobody makes money on their distribution anymore. You have to tour, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, what was that thing called? Remember when the file sharing started to happen? And he's looking around and everyone's like, dead. What are you talking about? (laughs) And then I'm like, "Uh uh-huh. And he's like, what was that thing called? And I was like, Napster. And he's like, yes, Napster. Can you explain Napster to the class? And I was just like, fuck, yeah, I guess so. And I was like, (laughs) it was dope. You could get anything you wanted for free. Mattel got really mad. Because you had dial-up. But then, like, it gave your computer cancer. And my professor's like, it did You give your computer cancer. My girls used to be up at night doing God knows what. And I'd fix the computer in the morning would happen every yeah. night and everyone's just looking at me like i have no idea what you're talking about i mean about. i inadvertently downloaded a lesbian porn on limewire oh, yeah and it was educational yeah mm-hmm. although that was not what i was trying to get there were so many files i downloaded that were not like the file name was mm-hmm. not what the file was and so for a good portion of my life i was living a bunch of lies thinking this <laughs> song was this title by this nope. person and it wasn't what do you mean this is a hit me baby one more time <laughs> And it's Eve Six. Oh, hell yeah. Ooh. Fuck me up. I love Eve Six. <laughs> yes. I recently just went down, was it yesterday? Nope. The other day. Went down a rabbit hole at work of listening to The Strokes, Jet, Ooh, Jet. The Fuck. White Stripes, uh, Phantom Planet. Phantom Planet. Yeah. Uh, the Fratellis, like all of that stuff. And what I was, was just, Jason like, Schwartzman fan? Phantom um, Point. No, 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 the other one. Um, fuck, I don't know. I'll figure um, it out. Are you thinking of um, Jared Leto, uh, 30 Seconds to Mars? No, no, no. Oh, I thought that was also, Red Jumpsuit Apparatus. Oh, no, <laughs> maybe that was on <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. No, fuck. What was his name? I'll look it West up. Coast. The song is. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, that's that song's called California by Phantom Planet. No, that's a different song. But what? it's like this other song. What the fuck? Yeah, okay. you're talking about the OC theme song. Oh, yeah. oh. <gasps> California. Yeah. Uh, this is embarrassing. I have this on a playlist, so I can it really easily. It's on my OO's playlist. Also, I listened to that song and didn't realize that was like a remix. So I thought that was like an original, but it says like something, something remix. And I was just like. The Chad Blake remix. Well, this is my favorite song. <laughs> so embarrassing. Hey. <laughs> oh, do you guys remember Listen. this song? <laughs> <laughs> do I? I do. I do. Okay, let's see. God, this is embarrassing. I'm not even going to read this out loud, but I'm going to find that. I made this playlist for my best friend and I drove across the country to move her. 
And oh, right. I made this like long ass OOs playlist and I made a 90s one and they're a lot. Okay. I'm Coconut Records. Yes. Thank yes. you. Yes. You beat me, but yes. Uh, yeah. It would have been also easier to search than like literally scroll through this. I love Coconut playlist. Records so much. So embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I Shout listen out to, to all those bands. <laughs> yeah. Amen. <laughs> Uh, well, unless we're talking about the Red Hot Chili Peppers, then get out of my face. <laughs> hey, I yeah. like the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, I do too, actually. That was my childhood. That was my favorite band. Sir Psycho time. Sexy was like my sexual mm-hmm. awakening in high school. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what half of this means, but I'm yeah. feeling something. Mm-hmm. I used to be in love with Anthony Kiedis. Same. Oh. I even read his stupid memoir. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> Here's yeah, the gist. Heroin's bad. Yeah. yeah. I sleep I with a lot from, of women. Yeah. I got that from the jams, but like, yeah. I mean, why the oh, yeah. book form too? Yeah. It is in book form. Yeah. That, that's like, so like my husband knows everything about everything about music mm-hmm. and I know just like little tiny tidbits of Anthony Kiedis's life <laughs> because I read a book once. I mean, yep. it's on. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the things I remember from like being so so small like my parents refused to listen to little kid music so I did not have any like baby beluga or any shit we were just mm. like listening to like dookie by green day nice. and like blood sugar sex magic I'm like Ugh, I fucking love that album. calling yeah. and, like, uh, yeah. best of talking heads and I'm mm. very grateful to that yeah like, mm-hmm. they didn't do everything right but they did that <laughs> yeah. I didn't have to listen to any bullshit my dad was the same yeah yeah, yeah. I don't remember like a lot of kid music but like, uh, my parents listen to a lot of Simon and Garfunkel, Beatles, Elvis. So I grew up on a lot of that, like, 60s, 70s pop. Mm-hmm. And they really like John Denver, which I don't know. They like more country music country than I do. Roads, take me home. My mom would, like, bust out with the, uh, what is it? Really Just, like, yeah. line dancing to Achy Breaky Heart. Hell yes. Oh, oh my yeah. god. Yeah. That's what I wish I had a little more of because that's like in my soul, you know? That's oh, yeah. like a generation. Yeah. Move Just go me, to my mom's house, cool. play some uh, Billy Ray. I'd love to. Turn honestly. that shit up. Yeah. Yes. I should be like, oh, you want to you wanna, you wanna do this right now? Like, yeah. Yeah. I want to learn more line dances. That's actually one of my New Year's resolutions. Really? I do you know honest- Annika Eagle? Yes. Not well she- enough to have line danced with her. <laughs> she does line dancing. Okay. Where? What's up, Anna? I think. I'm going to hit you up. I'm just like talking to her like it's a phone. I hope you're listening, Annika. <laughs> Annika! Yeah. I'd love to line dance with you sometime. I bet she'd love that too. Yeah. 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 Yep. She she does everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. She has some unusual hobbies. Yeah. yeah when I discovered oh. the line dancing, I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that. Okay. She did a really good, um, it was during the, I guess, 2018 election she was working on the lisa brown campaign and there was a party at, at nine and she karaoke a hazy shade of winter but every time it said look around leaves around she said lisa brown and i was like <laughs> oh were you there dope yeah do you recognize one of those people the two other people who were with her probably you yeah yeah that yeah, was there <laughs> yeah. with her yeah it's one of those things where like i know i've met you yeah, as soon as you started describing it but, like oh, yeah. oh i was yeah, mad. and rebecca there. long so it was beautiful oh yeah. yep so nice <laughs> it was the three of us oh, yeah sorry. and i did not know the song but they're like you're a ham do you want to go up there i'm like yeah i guess yeah. i love our little community of guests mm-hmm. everyone knows i know and it's so touching Shout out to all of you yeah you're all the best y'all know the best of spokane yeah oh lord yeah, yeah. Uh, I know when you got here, you said that there were certain things you wanted to talk about, right? I said there were certain things I didn't want to talk about. Well, I know that. Um, hmm, what do I actually want to talk about? I don't know. What do you want me to talk about? I don't know. know. What do you want to know? What do do you want to talk about? I don't know. Yeah. You've been in Spokane long enough. You've both been in Spokane long enough that I don't need to, like, demystify Spokane. No, no, no. Definitely not. I've been here for (gasps) 10 years. you know all about it. Yes. I mean, actually, no, I don't know all about it, but well, I choose I to say. educate myself on mm-hmm. what I want. I know the big thing that was happening here when I moved here was auto zem. That was oh, the big thing. Yeah. What is that? It was police about, brutality, it was a really basically bad police brutality case, and it had a lot of fallout for a long time. It was uh, like a developmentally disabled man who got like 
hogtied and killed by the police oh in my 7-Eleven. God. Yeah, sorry. This is like taking a turn. But uh, yeah. And then... So oftentimes our the podcast officer, takes a turn. The officer who um, was responsible for his death got removed, but it was a whole thing. And like a bunch of other cops came to the trial and like he got found guilty and they like stood up and saluted him when he left. That's disgusting. And it was just this whole, Ugh. like a lot of that's still around. The yeah. current chief of police is one of the people who saluted. So when he was getting picked, mm. people were like, hey, what about that? And he has kind of addressed it. He's been like. But like not really. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you still want to be chief of police. I'm sketched out by you. Yeah. Way. But anyway, yeah, that that's... was, that was a big time here. Lots of wild shit yeah. was going on. That was, that was when, when you first got here. That was, yeah, that was a big thing that was happening. Damn. Yeah. Um, but you've, uh, done volunteer work with mm-hmm. Pajals, which is yes. the Peace and Action Justice League of Spokane. Yes. Yeah. Can you tell us what you did for them? I can. Yeah. I'm in no way representing them right now with my dirty mouth. Um, I... <laughs> but they're great. Got involved. Yeah. I was basically, when I started my show and everything, I was really disenchanted with nonprofit industrial complex, and I still kind of am, but... Uh, it was like 2012, 2013, and I saw them doing stuff that I was like, okay, I like your your take on this. So I did their youth program in 2013, and I got really involved doing Israel-Palestine stuff and other anti-war stuff, which at the time was kind of, I mean, still, it's just complicated to do anti-war stuff because we just haven't stopped in a long time yeah so it's really hard to be like oh what's an escalation like what's even happening a lot of people just don't know what's happening including people who pay attention to it so uh, I got involved doing that and then I joined the board and I was on the board for some time I was the chair until last year and I stepped down and now full disclosure I'm working there super part-time um organizing for their youth program so I'm getting to work with like high school kids which is my background and I really like working with the youths and they're just like, I love like the kids these days are amazing yeah. and they're just so woke and they just get it. They're just like so immersed in information that you'll just ask them a question. Like we were talking about climate change the other week and this girl who's like a freshman in high school was just like, well, it's, it's so complicated to address because it's all just tied to capitalism and colonialism, you know, and those are, like, the foundations of our whole society, and I was just like... Oh, yeah, like, holy shit. Please <laughs> yeah. get out of the way, everyone who's not these kids. Everyone yeah, get out of the way, like, yeah. Literally, like, like, let them go. And they're all, yeah. So, yeah. No, I'm awesome. endlessly impressed with, like, Gen Z and mm-hmm. the yeah. younger kids. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, when I was in uh, the Tri-Cities for the holidays, um... My sister was telling me that two good friends of hers have um, now have a son um, where when they were born, they were identified as female, but uh, they identify as male. Mm -hmm. And they were talking about that. And my sister said, and they are using he, him pronouns. And my 11-year-old niece and my 15-year-old niece were like, it's they, them now. Like, and it was like nothing. It was yeah. nothing to them. Yeah. It was absolutely nothing. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome. And yeah. my nieces were like, that's how it is. Yeah, it's like, not a big deal. Yeah. Like, get your shit together. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. oh, uh-huh. excuse me. All right. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, the I have a lot of hope for. Me too. Mm-hmm. And they're all going to be, if not already, able to vote mm-hmm. very soon. Mm-hmm. And they just need to vote the fuck out of all these Dumb white old men mm-hmm. and women. Yep, yeah. I'm thinking about locally. Sorry. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> Not to get specific or anything. Yeah. But, you know. You know. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um. So yeah. No, I'm. I'm happy to be doing that and working with the youths. So what do you, then, what does the youth program do at Pajals? Like, what do they focus on? Um. Basically, this year we're changing it up a little bit. So we're bringing people, mostly younger people who are leaders in other organizations, uh-huh. just to talk about, like, theory of activism stuff. Like, what does it mean to be an activist? What skills? Like, working on people's hard skills. Like, uh-huh. you want to have a rally. You want 200 people to be there. How are you going to get those 200 people there? Uh-huh. Um, like, follow through. 
general like organizing principles like what is nonviolence, what is direct action, what is this, what is that. So giving kind of a foundation. And that's changed from the past because I think in the past we've had to worry a lot more about people's like political analysis. And, like, yeah. Do you understand the root causes of things? But like I said, like they get it. The kids these days, like <laughs> they just know what's going on. Yeah. And they, they get just it. get it mm-hmm. in a way that's really, that's what I think is cool about teenagers in general is you just still have your bullshit detector intact and you're not too jaded yet, but you're jaded enough to be like, maybe this that is things all need to change. a lie, man. Yeah. So it's nice to be able to be an adult at this point who can be like, yeah, like maybe it is all a lie, but like how can we be strategic and not just do, you know, what I did when I was a teenager, which was like, let's go like get high and be like, well, man, society's whack, you know, like let's continue to get high. Yeah. Yeah. Like how can we just um, take that energy into something more actually? revolutionary or whatever yeah you know well and it's taking that energy as well because Mm -hmm. i'm fucking tired all the time and so like i can like i do a activity like i I go to a protest i'm like all right it's time to nap now but like these kids have the energy to like keep going and that's Mm -hmm. what we need right now so yeah Mm -hmm. get the fuck out of the way yeah what's the uh, age range of the... So it's gotten younger and younger since mm-hmm. the Trump election in 2016. Uh, it used to be, like when I did it, it was actually mostly people who were not in high school, who were like young adults or like running a college club or something like that. Um, but it's just skewed younger every year. So there's people in middle school That's awesome. who want to do it. It's a lot of people. Now it's a lot of kids of local activists. Mm-hmm. who they're, They see what their parents are doing and they want to do stuff. Or their parents are like you got to do this, you know, and it could be worse in terms of getting forced to do an extracurricular. So, yeah. So yeah, there's been really young people, people in middle school organizing. Some of the students right now are organizing. I don't think this is classified or anything um, to get free like menstrual products. In oh yeah. Uh-huh. Cause there aren't any and their whole thing is like, there are, but you have to go and ask a counselor and they're like, That's why stupid. Yeah. Just, have them in the bathrooms and because the kids are woke they're like all the bathrooms Mm -hmm. you know like let's just do this and yeah so they're working on that and they're so far ahead of where anyone I knew was in high school so yeah same good job kids Mm -hmm. yeah good job kids yeah yeah good job kids also look at her kitties she wants to be involved the listening audience can't see but there's a very lovely kitten she's very precious Mm-hmm. She's very precious, aren't you? Yeah. My old senior cat, before he passed, uh, he would like to get on the table and purr into the microphones. So He was great. It's like, here's my contribution. Yes. <laughs> I have a lot to say about this. <laughs> yeah. Hear me out. I have yeah. feelings about this. Yeah. Yes. Um, no, that's really awesome. Mm, I can't purr. That's exactly how he yeah. sounded. I don't know if anything like that existed when I was in high school, but... Definitely not. I was too mm-hmm. up my own butt to, like... Yeah. I started a philosophy club. Ooh. Oh, yeah. what an asshole. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Totally. I was too <laughs> horny. <laughs> <laughs> I was too high. That's what we're talking about. I was, just I was too up my own butt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Up your own butt. Yeah. yeah. No, I wasn't a joiner. Um, I was dropping out. Just like basically just living the plot of uh, such a burnout, man. Of um, God, my brain. I've never um, been kissed. No, I wish. <laughs> no, freaks and geeks. Oh, oh yeah, I yeah. literally went like math lead to stoner. Like it was when I finally watched that show as an adult. I was like, Please. you were her Lindsay Weir or Linda whatever Cardi. her name is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Linda Cardellini. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the most. Yeah, that's the most wholesome. You even kind of look like her. I can draw. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Shit. Yeah. yeah, she's a looker, so. Yeah. No, yeah. she's yeah. She's beautiful. For the listening audience. No, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. That was actually my favorite thing about doing radio. I wonder how you guys feel about that. Having a podcast and having to, getting to just like look however you want and be here however you want. It's pretty great. And just like. Well, I love know. being able to scratch my armpits whenever I want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Although I do that in public too, so. I like 
not having to be super presentable mm -hmm. and just be comfy. Yeah, I'm not wearing a bra right now, and it's great. Yeah, sometimes I take my shoes off because mm -hmm. I just hate wearing shoes and socks. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's great. I didn't ever do that at KYRS, I don't think, but I did wear sweats. Get comfy. Just, like, yeah. chill. Yeah, yeah. it's nice mm -hmm. to not yeah. be expected to look a certain way. Should we take a break? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> we'll be back, kids. Hey, Alicia, do you have a nickname for your vagina? I sure do. It has been christened Swampy Fuck Flaps. Does your vagina have a nickname? Hell yeah, it does. I like to call it my dirty fun box. Wait, isn't that the name of today's sponsor? Well, fuck me sideways and call me D'Artagnan. It is. Dirty Fun Box is a quarterly subscription that has boxes for singles, couples, throuples, and more. Each quarter, you will receive monthly delivery that will take you through a journey of exploration, either solo, with a partner, or with multiple partners. They send you a beautiful box of hand-selected sexy and kinky items that get you going for the entire month. So, what's in the box? Toys for everyone, samples and discounts from like-minded groups and companies, Skill trainings that include G-spot training, ooh, deep throating, mm. and masturbation and oral techniques. Ah. Erotic books, monthly challenges, sexy health and wellness tips, and more. There are boxes for her, boxes for him, and boxes for couples. If you have wants and needs specific to gender identity or sexual preference, Dirty Fun Box wants to hear from you. Sign up today at dirtyfunbox.com and use the promo code Drudge Podcast for 10% off your first order. That is D R U N C H P O D C A S T. Dirty, Dirty Fun, Fun Box. Box. Subscribe, Subscribe to a sexier, sexier lifestyle. Welcome back, my little mimosas. We're making the sounds that we make at Kitty. Oh, Kitty sounds. These are just my sounds. Yeah, yeah that too. Also that. Hmm. Siep. Siep. Oh, sorry, Siep. I'm getting stuffy, so. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I get stuffy when I drink sometimes, but it's not consistent, so I don't know why that's happening. Yeah, yeah you seem stuffy quite a bit. You need to get those sinuses I checked know. out. I know. Get one of those disgusting things. You know, the... Oh, like neti pots? Yeah, thank you. Okay. <gasps> yeah! I used those, and mm. then water started coming out of my ear, and I was like, that's not normal. This is why it's fucked up. I can't even think about doing it. Like, I really liked it, but then something went wrong, and I told a doctor, and of course, you know, they don't really believe women, so I told them about all my <laughs> Well, have you thought about losing weight? <laughs> Oh my god. I told them, I told the, this doctor about all my problems and they suggested I get a hearing test. So I did, and my hearing is fine. Uh -huh. But I'm still having these problems. And they're like, well, your, your canal looks good. And I'm like, well, nothing is supposed to be coming out of there. So it's not fine. But whatever. I guess you went to school for this and I didn't. So you know better than me. <sighs> not it's, always. It's all connected. It's I know. It's all really. It's frustrating. It is all connected. I feel like I should know more about how ears work by now, but I don't. But oh, yeah. It's complicated. That's Very all complicated. I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Doctors are the worst, though. <laughs> they are the worst. Yeah. Don't get me started. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. My <laughs> doctor just quit or something. She's taking less patients, so oh. I have a new one now. Mm. That's why I only do female doctors, though, mm -hmm. or non-cis men doctors. Hey, well, it's yeah. like slim pickings if you get really specific. Oh, and in Spokane, there's a doctor yeah. shortage, so. I got yeah. super lucky. I had a really weird interaction the other day, though, because I am the worst, and I just, like, fucking eavesdrop on people and, like, <laughs> insert myself where I should <laughs> And this person was talking about my doctor, and she was her doctor also. This is probably so illegal. I was like, we have the same doctor. <laughs> I love her. And she was like, oh, I don't. She's so rude. And I was just like, I like that she's rude. I want people to yell at me and, like, give me some discipline. And she was like, why are you telling me this? Uh, Who are you? Yeah. Who let you in here? <laughs> it was so awkward. It was 
Why are you in my bathroom? <laughs> Ma'am, this is a private <laughs> residence. <laughs> Ma'am, this is an Burger Applebee's. <laughs> it was not at Burger King. It was in an art show, but it was still really still, yeah. painful. She's like, why are you talking to me about my doctor? And I kind of salvaged it, but it was just horrible. I need to just stop. I'm like, that's awesome. Sometimes you just start word vomiting though, and you just up. can't stop. Yeah. Yeah. I told these people the other night, there were people, it was a winter formal at Baby Bar, and these people were talking about the Adam Sandler movie, Eight Crazy Nights, and this guy was trying to convince <laughs> his girlfriend to see it. And he's like, it's like the best Christmas movie. And I'm just what? sitting there like, it's a fucking Hanukkah movie. Like, it's called Eight Crazy Nights. Yeah, it's not even about Christmas. Of Christmas. Eight Nights of Hanukkah. But I didn't say anything. Until you should like, have. way later. And then, like, somehow I got into such a load conversation. It's a Hanukkah movie. movie. And I was like, by the way, I was just such, actually, I'm yeah. like such a mansplainer, but I'm just Remember like, that movie man. you were talking about two hours ago? It's <laughs> yeah. actually a Hanukkah movie. It's a fucking Hanukkah Don't movie. Don't believe him. Adam it's a trap. Adam Sandler is Jewish, yeah. notoriously. That's a technical foul. Notoriously Jewish. He yeah. is. Like, come on. Yeah. yeah. If only he was had never been kissed. Oh, but we do, <laughs> we do have a what's that other movie? Uncut Gems. No, with him. No. It, <laughs> <laughs> I am gonna go see that tomorrow. It's really good. I saw it already. Oh what? Yeah, okay, that was good. Yeah, my friend she was doing Sorry. my hair yesterday, and she was like, "Yeah, you're gonna be so mad." And I was like, "Why?" And she's like, "It's good." And she's like, Wait. "You're just gonna be so mad. It's good." I just want to guess what Adam Sandler movie you're talking about. The Wedding Singer. Yeah. The one oh, with it. him and Drew Barrymore. Or Fifty Four States with him oh, and Drew Barrymore. Oh my god! Yeah. Ooh, Ooh good job. I'm sure yeah. they did well. another one together too, <laughs> no. or something. She's not the. The wedding. Oh, she said we that. We already. Yeah. Used it. Oh, yeah. you said. Someone said it. Yeah. Someone. Said it. Yeah. Someone yeah. Said it. Fucking Adam Sandler. Yeah. My like, brother called Julia me the other day, Gullia. and he's like, he's like, I want to go out with you. I want to go like hang out with just you. He's like, I want to see that new Adam Sandler movie. And I was like, bro, I literally saw it yesterday. Aww. And he's like, God damn it. He's like, we're going to have to wait for the next time Adam Sandler's in an Oscar nominated role to hang out. <laughs> and that could be 10 years from now. I was like, yeah, sorry. <laughs> like, you have to wait until then. I don't know. It's just what he decided. So, yeah. God. That's so funny. <laughs> Good old Adam Sandler. Yeah. Probably trying to prove his acting chops. I mean, he's a good actor. But yeah. But he's yeah. coasted. Very smartly, is that a word? Smartly. Sure. On these other movies. It'll be ironic if it's not. <laughs> yeah. These other movies where he's not so smart and like doesn't have to put in a lot of work. Yeah. But he gets to film with his friends, usually in like really great locations, and he's mm-hmm. just like, fuck yeah. it, you know? I'll you let me do whatever I want. Without I can spoilers. Be this fucking idiot. Yeah. 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 There's a couple moments in Uncut Gems where I was like, I'm distracted by the fact that you're Adam Sandler right now. Oh. Mm-hmm. But it was probably only like two or three moments. So on the whole, it's good. I want to hear more about the Furby bling that it's I see in the dope. preview. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It's pretty much. Yeah. That's it. It's, it's, it's a That's it. Why is it a Furby though? Because. <laughs> Jewelers know what the people want. <laughs> you know? Like, that's what the people need is a jewel Furby. I want one now. Like, I saw it. Like, I don't know if this is culturally appropriate for me to have, but. It's a Furby. Why wouldn't it be? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I it's, don't know. it's our adolescence. Yeah. Did you it's live terrifying. in the 90s? I did. Then it's culturally appropriate for you. I lived through all but six weeks of the 90s. So, yes, I was there. Huh. You did it. Yeah. Yeah. I was there for all of the 90s. Same. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It was really I never cool. had a Furby. Um, I thought they were very creepy. My mom had one. <laughs> either. My best friend had one. And one night in the middle of the night, it like woke up and started talking. And that's fucked up. It was upsetting. Things are fucking haunted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do want to get some and like reprogram them. I don't know if you've ever seen like the guy who made the Furby organ. And like tuned them, and it's like a play on like an organ, but it's like all no. the outputs are furbies. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, I'll send it to you if you can't find it, but it is a real thing. What? So I love it. Thank you. Oh, I love that you. people do that. So that's f- fucked up. Yeah, yeah. And I... fucked up things and movies. I'm gonna see cats. Uh, no, why? I know you like didn't ask me about this, but I'm just <laughs> I feel like telling the world. Um, well, so because I owe my friend Jesse, she and I taught at summer camp together this year. Yep, there she is. Furby Morgan. We'll watch it later. Yeah. 
But um, we taught at summer camp together, and there was this day at camp where all the kids, and they're high school kids, were, like, talking about Jason Derulo, and they're all running around going, Jason Derulo! <laughs> and I was like, how do you guys know about him? It seems, like, before your time. And then... The internet, that's why. So we're staying on this college campus. Usually we're eating in the cafeteria, but there was a school reunion, so we had to eat in this, like, cursed, fucked up conference room with, like, fluorescent lights that made noise and, like, sad steamer trays of breakfast. Wait, was and this was, just recently when you were... It was the summer. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. And um, I was hungover. It was bad. I had to, like, eat this fucked up food. And so I come in there, I'm, like, getting food. I'm, like, this place is fucked up. There's no coffee, whatever. And I go sit down. And the second I sit down, my friend Jessie shoves her phone in my face and is showing me the Cats trailer. The first really bad Cats trailer. And I was furious with her. I was, like, legitimately mad. I was like, why the fuck? Why would you show me this? Are you showing this to me in the morning? Uh, I haven't had any drugs. I'm <laughs> um, I sent this just earlier to your husband. Oh. Cats is undeniably a film. <laughs> Brimming with a score, cinematography, and performances, it's a motion picture made by a team of filmmakers that can irrefutably be described as existent. <laughs> Truly one of the films 2019 has to offer. Was yes. that his review? <laughs> I love it. I want to be like, did you write this? Yeah. <laughs> so I was pissed about it and everything, but now I'm like, yeah. I Go watch the YouTube hellscape. Reviews. Oh, I watched on. some YouTube reviews and they were like, the thing we can say about this, like as art, is that it's a singular experience. Like this has okay, not yeah. been done before. You will not likely see it again. That's true. Huh. Yeah. So, I don't know. They could say that was their intention. Yeah. It's too late now. They it's say a new review. review. But, yeah. Uh, I don't ever want to see it. Ever. Because I of, need to be high for it, so. Oh, I don't. That might be a bad idea, I don't actually. I not anymore, but I might make an exception just to go. I feel like that might trigger some bad juju or something. Well, we'll find out. Oh, God. Well, Godspeed. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Not saying I will do it, yeah. but... Like, and just everything that I've heard and seen, mostly on Twitter, and my husband's review of it, because he was messaging me the entire time. Uh, texting in a theater? Rude. During the movie? Yeah. It was, he the went movie? to one of he those. He should know better. Uh, there were like four other people in there, whatever. Oh, okay. Oh, it was like a press screening? No, it no? was just, they, him and a friend went to. <laughs> just no, that's how well the movie press was screening doing. of cats. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, he, he... If he has that kind of access, I need to know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they went to one of those dinner in a movie theaters because they wanted to get drunk for it, you know. Mm-hmm. Of course. And there were four other people in there <laughs> that were sitting in front of them. So, yeah, he was texting me the whole time. But... And I went so long without seeing the trailer either. I went, like, months without seeing it. And then someone did a mashup of... The cat's trailer is set to I got a five on it, and I have. To yes, it. that's the that's the only trailer that's I've the only seen. Trailer I've seen. Like yep, the me version? too. Like the boom, yeah, boom. yeah. Oh, sick. Da-dun, da-dun, yeah, damn, da-dun, like da-dun. a horror because it is a horror. Show. It's, it's terrifying. Huh, okay, yeah. I'm gonna find that. And I have also I didn't watch it, but I know that there's a trailer out there with it when it, where it's, they replaced all the faces with Ron Swanson. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it's Ron Swanson. I'm not sure. Anyway. I don't, I want no part of it. I don't, mm -mm. I gotta be high for it. Yeah, well, if you wanna go. It's just fucked up. It's so fucked up. Rebel Wilson's cat character is eating roaches. (laughs) And they have hands. human faces. Yeah, Ah. human faces. All the cats have hands. And they're, like, cat size, but they're walking on Cats don't eat roaches. No, but she's yeah, like they do. plucking. Well, I have never seen a cat eat a roach. There's no roaches here. Because <laughs> you have a cat. <laughs> <laughs> if I was a cat, I'd be eating the fuck out of Kitty would not eat a roach. Kitty would not eat a roach. It's like, in the, Lion King. Eat a roach. <laughs> it's like in the Lion King. Think about how much Simba likes that grub. Think about how good oh, that grub looks. Like, it's, low key, that grub looks good. It was juicy. In the anime yeah. Lion King. <laughs> Like, Anything <laughs> in the animated world looks good. Slimy, yet satisfying. <laughs> yeah. They would be eating roaches. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. It's the slimy that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Kitty would That's never eat a roach. She is. <laughs> You're wearing the headphones. So you can <sighs> Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. 
Our April Fool's Day episode was us, us eating into a microphone, mm-hmm. so. Yeah. We were, we were crunchy. Crunch. 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 Yeah. Uh, for this last little bit, uh, we were going to talk about Keep Spokane Kind of Gross. Sure. Which you yeah. co-founded. Yeah. And so explain to our audience what the concept is and sure. how people are using it and how they should be using it. The well, movement. This that is, is some dirt. This is some dirt. Yes. But I'll tell you. Yeah. We love dirt. And it's good natured dirt. And if you're listening, no hard feelings. But I was bitching one time with my friend Erica about Spokane Doesn't Suck. Because uh. that guy's not from here. I know you live here now. You seem great. Whatever. But I'm like, it kind of does. Like, obviously someone feels a little defensive, you know, right? Because Spokane does, like, I grew up here, and, like, it did suck. And that was part of what built character and all of that. So I'm like, that's just, like, not accurate. I'm complaining about it to Erica. I'm like, it needs to be something else. It needs to be, like, keep, you know, I'm, like, riffing on stuff. I'm like, like, keep Spokane kind of gross. And I think she's not listening to me because she's just on her laptop. I'm like, what the fuck? Why aren't you listening to me? Like, I'm, coming point- up, I'm coming up with gold and you're not even listening. And then she like flips around her laptop and she's like, like this? And she's a graphic designer. So what is out there? She's upset because it's like literally just her first draft that she just made to show me. I was like, this is amazing. So we just impulsively made stuff. And then it blew up and now it's like a nice little like passive income stream for us, which is lovely. But it's also a hashtag and I follow the hashtag. And some people get it, and some people don't get it, and that's fine. But I'm trying to decide, and maybe I'll ask you, would it be an asshole move for me to have a dummy Instagram account that monitors the hashtag and tells people when their post is not kind of gross? (laughs) (laughs) I would Um, admire that effort, because that's a lot. I, too, would admire the effort. Yeah. I... Support it. But yeah. Just let it be. But I also told you to reenact <laughs> Never Been Kissed because there's no <laughs> reason for you to do it. That that's also true. a good idea. Though. I mean, it so is. So I don't know if yeah. you should listen to me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah, I think people I are going to misuse that anyways. Yes. Well, so what it means for me is, one, Spokane does suck. Like, there's mm-hmm. a lot of bad shit in Spokane but what a, how I interpret it is as is like keep gentrification like out yes. of here yeah thank yeah. you that is 100% the message do not yeah. make yes. it like Seattle yes. yes get out of here with your Edison light bulbs I'm sick of seeing fucking Edison light bulbs everywhere oh, I, I don't know why I'm like looking at the mic sternly <laughs> like these people can hear me I think I have a couple in my bedroom that's okay listen no you're not like a coffee I'm shop not with yeah like, no I'm not a, a business like, owner a like you know light yeah, countertop or like with those like, stupid ass metal chairs that are not yes. comfortable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Get the fuck out of here with that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, get so out of here with your stupid like that? planked wood like outside Green building back mixed to with swamp. Oh, you know, I, wish. I mean, and, and I'm not trying to like live in the past. I know Spokane's going to change, but I just hope that it doesn't become like wall to wall, just like bland condo architecture and $6 lattes. And yeah, my neighborhood's about to get a spin gym and a juice bar. And it just got a brewery. Like where? In a triangle. I don't really want to say like where I live, but you can well, figure out where that triangle is. It's on the West side of downtown. That's weird. Yeah. So, Ooh, no. you know, it's coming. It's going to, some yeah. stuff's going to happen, but I just like the spirit of, like, if you Keeping want to Keep create new yeah. business, fine. Don't push poor people out of the mm-hmm. neighborhood, though. Yeah. Don't yeah. hike up rent mm-hmm. yeah. and living yeah. expenses. Like, if you mm-hmm. really want to be a business owner in Spokane, maybe, like, take the time to renovate the really cool old buildings mm-hmm. that we already have in place mm-hmm. that are just That we have sitting a lot empty. of? Yeah. 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 Like, I would love to see that first stretch of first avenue Mm -hmm. like really redone and and like even um second on the other side of downtown Mm -hmm. yeah like there's there is so much space there still Mm -hmm. and these buildings are so fucking cool Mm -hmm. and we keep putting up all these cinder block gray ass buildings Mm -hmm. that yeah are not vibrant at all 
Well, and there's just so much stuff like that. I want a bunch more people to live downtown as someone who's lived downtown forever. But like, there's literally nowhere to like fucking buy toilet paper, no. etc. Right. You know, like throw some bodegas in there. Give mm-hmm. us some. One hundred percent. That would be so nice, great. cheap food. Yeah. You know? Like not. That'd just, be great. Yeah. I don't need vegan dog treats in my life, and I don't need like eight dollar juice. Yeah. So. Yeah, people would live God, downtown. That juice is delicious, though. <laughs> <you know. laughs> I need a juice daddy. <laughs> if anyone's out there, oh my juice God. daddy. Juice daddy. Juice. If you want to buy me some juice? It's available right now. Yeah, if I could just walk somewhere to get basic stuff. Yeah, yeah. That That's doesn't true. require a purchase to use the bathrooms. Mm. Mm-hmm. I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, mm. that's upsetting to me. I still am trying to like work out a system. Like a secret spot where people who want to leave their receipts with the code in can, and people oh. that need to use a bathroom can do that. Where and do you need the receipt? What do you? What place? My fresh ding ding. Oh god. <laughs> my fresh butthole. Sorry. Yeah. That's it. My fresh we rhino have lots plastic. Of <laughs> yeah. My lint biscuit. My lint biscuit. I think that's like one of I'm the best ones. I'm giving Ryan credit. For that. Yeah, that's, my that's sisters. all yeah. her. I always, I usually fall back on my fresh ding dong or my fresh. Bing bong or my fresh dingling. I like yeah. my fresh butthole. Yeah, that's what I say too. Yeah. But it's a little graphic for some people. They're like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah. Fine, I'll call it my fresh taint. <laughs> my fresh grundle. <laughs> <laughs> my fresh chum. My fresh swampy fuck class. Oh god, my fresh labia. <laughs> my fresh vulva. I'm gonna start doing my fresh labia. <laughs> my, my fresh mons pubis. <laughs> Great though. Your fucking mom. Yeah. No. <laughs> My mom. <laughs> but this it's like right deep. there on the surface. I know. So, yeah. yeah. Um, no, because I think it's fucking bullshit. And I think if you have to use the bathroom, like you have to use the yeah. bathroom, you know. Like you deserve the dignity of yeah. having a bathroom. Especially just that whole place is cursed and wretched. <laughs> and yeah. it's just like it's a cursed. whole foods opened by someone who shouldn't have opened a grocery store who has poor design sense. Sorry. Wow. And their coffee sucks. I don't these people anymore. Um, I actually kind of like their coffee. But oh, yeah. I don't go there anymore. Yeah. But it's just like. Just the the way they were talking when they built that, I was like, "It's going to be for everyone." I'm like, it's I, not. it clearly is not. Yeah, yeah, it's clearly not. So, another anyway. building that's just a giant cinder block. Like mm-hmm. it's so unwelcoming, mm-hmm. so unwelcoming in so many ways. Maybe and we shouldn't call it the Mons because, like, it's not welcoming. It's not. It's, it's not a place you can enter. <laughs> <laughs> the Mons is very welcoming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's so where you want to just rest it. your head gently. You know? So it's yeah. decided. My fresh taint. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> no man's land. <laughs> <laughs> the forbidden oh. zone. <laughs> the, the Bermuda Triangle of genitalia. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> Not unlike the Bromuda Triangle in downtown Spokane. No, yes. Very unlike that. Yes, I used to live right in that. I'm it so was, sorry. Uh, it was cool. It was interesting. <laughs> My bedroom window looked out onto the Fast Eddie's parking lot. Whoa. Yikes. You had some times. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Wild. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I don't remember the last time I've ever been to any of those establishments, and I don't want to. I ever... went to the Globe for um, drag brunch. Oh, yeah. The Globe is in the Bermuda Triangle. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's fine. It was fine. But was that was fun. during the day. Yep. Right? <laughs> yeah. Because haven't they have an issue lately with... People being roofied. Mm-hmm. I got yeah. bounced from there because uh, I yelled at a guy and then I'm the one who got bounced. So I kind of have beef with the globe right now. But he grabbed my friend's ass and I was like, what the fuck, man? I was drinking. Get the yeah. fuck out of the store. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. It was like your dream. It was just like your prophetic dream. And so I kind of got in his face and then he was doing the like, bro, like. Thing. Come at me, bro! But I'm like, people can't see me. I'm like five foot two. I'm not a large person. I was just being obnoxious. And he got in my face and I was like, what? Are you gonna fucking hit me? I was like, fucking hit me. Like, come on. Fucking hit me, dude. And I got bounced, which probably, you know, maybe I shouldn't yell fucking hit me at people. <laughs> but, but he should have gotten bounced, he too. He should have gotten yeah, bounced. Yeah, I'm totally. trying to explain. I'm like, he's out here, like, groping people. Yeah. yeah. Fucking gross. And they're like, yeah, but he's not yelling and making a scene. Yeah, because he wants to keep groping people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <sighs> Fucking gross. Yeah. yeah. Time to throat punch. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, yeah I'm, I haven't been there at night in years, mm-hmm. so. Yeah. I've been there one time, and it was when Hastings existed, so oh however long ago that was. Yeah. R.I.P. Yeah. <laughs> Burn in hell! <laughs> I worked at Hastings. Oh, okay. So, yeah. okay. Fair. <laughs> Ooh, but yikes. I mean, those are formative memories. That's some untouchable shit for some I of us. I have a, uh, there's an employee at work who said, oh yeah, when I uh, went to Shadow Park High School, I would go to the Hastings all the time. I'm like, when? What years? <laughs> oh, from uh, 2010 to 2013. I'm like, yeah, I probably told you to take off your backpack at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. That burn in hell. Yeah. Yeah. I probably wouldn't have uh Lincoln Heights. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I worked at the the Shadow Park Hastings and it sucked. Except for I got to chase a guy once. I shouldn't have. I nice. was got in trouble for that. I just wanted to get our stuff back. That's <laughs> all. That's all I wanted. Mm-hmm. Uh we didn't really discuss like how people are using the hashtag oh, keep. That's, yeah, I was I was just being a dick about it, but sometimes it's just like people doing like wholesome. It's fine if you want to do this. It's just not kind of gross, like a like an alleyway like photo shoot. You know, there's been a lot of that lately. Of just like here I am in the alley. It happens a lot. Lights. Yeah, especially. Yeah. And I'm like, that's not. I'm cool. a white person in the alleyway. Yeah, I'm so edgy and urban. No, yeah. um. I, my window at work faces an alleyway, and there's a lot of... That's a prime alleyway, too. <laughs> yeah. That's a let's shoot alleyway. That, no, totally. 100%. Uh, that's where Muckle Man did his music video. Macklemore. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you call him? Muckle Man. <laughs> Muckle Man! Like, what in the fuck are you talking about? Uh, Muckle did, Man! Yeah, he did a, a music video there. Yeah. A lot of senior portraits there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's been senior portraits at my building lately, and I've been taking pictures of them and sending them to certain <laughs> friends of mine, being like, "This place is going to the dogs." Like, when you <laughs> are you like talking about out this out of here? Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And like, sure, you seem like a lovely person, whatever, but it's a misuse. It is kind of because nothing in that picture is gross. It's like no, just crusty. Someone's posting their goats. Please, if you're out there, keep posting goats. <laughs> I'm obsessed with your goats. Oh my Pete's god, Spokane kind of goat is a spin-off that I'm working on. Oh my yeah, god, goats okay. are great. I That's support goats. Are gross. They eat fucking anything. Yeah, they're resourceful. Yeah, <laughs> thank you to the goat people on there. You're this is, yeah, I, I love, love these goats. goat people. And then, like, Nate from Giant Nerd posts a bunch of stuff. Shout out to yep. Nate. He was yeah. the first person who sold our stuff. Yeah. He would sell a lot of his books at Hastings, actually. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Yep. Whoa. So He's... I know who he is, and he doesn't know yeah. who I am. So nice. just me being weird. Yeah. Continue. I met him a long time ago because my dad's an antique dealer and an auctioneer. And that scene is kind of full of, like, weird, off-the-grid, libertarian old dude. Uh, this is also the content I want to see. Yeah, see a dog <gasps> that's at the dog in front park. of graffiti. That's what we need. Yep. There, that's gross. There's like a whole wall at the dog yeah. park that's like mm-hmm. that. And they were like, yes. That's a good wall. It now that's a, wall. a good example. Yeah. 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 Graffiti only, and dogs. Yeah. But Nate was the only normal person, like former <laughs> punk, like not off-the-grid libertarian NRA dude who would come to my mm. dad's auction when I was a teenager. Yeah. So I was like, you seem safe. Let's become friends. <laughs> Yeah, so I do yeah. want to. I know sometimes he has full size skeletons of like little animals, mm-hmm. and I really want one. He has a raccoon skull right now. I was just oh. there, so. Mm. Um. Okay. Also, side note: if anyone has any experience in hanging big skulls from, um, what are those things called? They're not the. They're like the baseboards, but like up high. Mm-hmm. The hanging land. Yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah it's ours. Uh, fuck, I forget what they are, but I need to hang a big skull on a wall with picture wire, mm-hmm. and I don't know how to do it. So if anyone has any experience with that. Is it a European mount, or is it like a full... Would Wolfsbane be bird? able to help with that? I know, I don't want to bother her. Oh, okay. There's a lot going on. Um, she does, yeah. Um, do you know what I'm talking about when I say that? Sorry, no, I don't, I don't know what that, no. Does it have fur on it? No. It's okay. like just a skull. That's European. Okay. Yeah. So that'd be fine. It's not that heavy. It's, I mean, it's like substantial, Ooh. but not. Whose skull is it? It's like a cow. Okay. Ooh. And it says it in red letters on its like front or whatever. It says keep out. <gasps> Bad. 
badass. It's so, <laughs> and it's just been it? like uh, at a local oh, place that? on Monroe. Monroe. Yeah. And like one of the employees was like, what are you going to do with it? And I was None like, of your business. I don't know. Hang it. Hang um, it. No, it's just been sitting on my dining table for months because. It just seems like such a task to try to hang it. But I know it can be done. I just want to do it right so that it doesn't fall to the ground and scare Lady Bird. Oh, yeah. We mustn't scare Lady Bird. She is just a baby. Yeah. It mustn't be scared. She must be protected at all costs. Yes. yes. She's the most precious. my life on the line for that dog. <laughs> I would take a bullet for her. Yeah. I cried the first time I met her. And that's she with me forever. She's, she's a sweet lady. She's mm-hmm. very angelic and precious, and we don't deserve her. Mm-hmm. We don't. Yeah. We absolutely don't. Uh, Laura's got to leave soon. Mm-hmm. Word. Uh, would you like to plug anything? Oh, God. Um, oh, I should have been prepared for that. Where can we find Keep Spokane? Kind of oh, stuff? I should do that. Yeah. Um, Giant Nerd. Books on Monroe. That's actually where I got my just sticker. Just north yeah, me too. of, just north of the river on Monroe. Very charming, wonderful bookshop. And that building is like really cool. They it just is cool. repainted the exterior. Yeah, it, it looks, looks awesome. Beautiful. Um, or Boo Radley's. Yes, uh-huh. yep. uh, and those are the two places right now. So cool. Yeah. Hoping to expand. What yeah. else? I don't know. What's Give her you... luck on her Never Been Kissed journey? Yes. Yeah. I will keep you updated. We'll do a documentary. It'll be really cool. It'll be like... Can people listen to... It'll um... either be like a cool like um, dateline thing or it'll be like an episode of Law and Order. <laughs> it'll be really good either way. They're like, I shouldn't be alive. <laughs> 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 um, can people listen to past episodes of Praxis? They can. Praxis is no more, but the archive is still alive. Cool. Um, so you can just search Praxis, P-R-A-X-I-S, on any of the places where you podcast or you can go to soundcloud.com slash Praxis Radio. Dope. That's still in there. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Way to go. Also... I just thought I should let you know that I have that ready to rock in my phone. Uh, Why don't I have that? <laughs> I'm fixing that right dun, dun. now. Mm-hmm. Dun, oh, dun. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. And thank you for me coming on, of course. Yeah, this is really, yeah. really lovely. And I'm so glad we're friends. And before oh. we were friends, I was like, wow, that Taylor person is like hella cool. No. And I want to be like her. No. Yeah. I'm glad we're friends. <laughs> I just remember instantly being friends with you. I don't remember how we met. But I don't either. I think it was a radio station. It's like it always. Yeah. It was always. Thank you, day. KYRS, for catalyzing so many beautiful relationships. This is true. But Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for being yeah. a friend. I have to pee again. So okay. Wrap okay. It up. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to another episode of the Drunch Podcast. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Drunch Podcast. If you are LGBT+, a person of color, or basically anyone that's not a straight white male, and you would like your music featured on an episode, please reach out to us at podcast at drunch.me. You can listen to Drunch anywhere you listen to podcasts. Like and subscribe at Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, YouTube, Podbean, and any other goddamn platform we may have forgotten to mention. If you like what we do, please leave us a review. If you got non-legitimate problems, send us an email and then fuck off. Yeah. If you're interested in becoming a guest, if you'd like to be a sponsor or advertise with us, or if you're wondering how you can get involved, you can reach us at podcast.drunch.me.